It's Ask the Judge time once again, and today Judge Larry Thorne joins us for, for one of our most popular segments. Good to see you today. It's great to be here. It's great to be here. Gosh, it seems like weeks that I've, since I've seen you. I know. It does, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend, a wonderful Mother's Day weekend, uh -huh. and uh, I'm sure you did too. I did, as always. Let's jump right in. Right. Here's a question for one of our viewers. My friend's husband ran off with her two-and-a-half-year-old kid last night night after a fight what can she do well I mean she could take a couple days off to collect her thoughts and, and uh, fly to Las Vegas because we know nothing happens there uh, or she could maybe just call him mm -hmm. and uh, say come on home let's talk it out that sounds like uh, a good option yeah mm -hmm. but the, the truth of the matter in this situation there's no court orders so dad and mom Parents, all have, they have equal rights. Mm -hmm. Dad has the same rights to, uh, that mom does, and so until she uh, hires an attorney and uh, files some uh, divorce or and asks for temporary orders and asks for custody, she can't just go uh, say you have to give me the child back. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to give the child back unless the court tells him to. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail yes, in this situation. So. Here's the second question. My family owns a home in an HOA. My parents want to rent it during the summer, but our association bylaws forbid renting. My parents think the definition of real property means they can ignore the bylaws. Can they rent this house? I don't think, I don't <laughs> think they read, uh, read the contract very well. Um, th this is a major problem, and uh, HOA, uh, they strictly enforce their rules. Uh, and so never, ever get involved in one of those until you read the rules. Mm -hmm. They enforce them. They will sue you. They will get... Uh, court costs, they'll get attorney fees, they'll get everything if you breach the contract. They're the usually only, very serious about yes, those rules. Yes, the only way huh? I've seen people maybe uh, get around it is if it has been breached before mm -hmm. and they didn't do anything about it. Yeah. So. Uh, not good, not good. I wouldn't try oh, to run it. Okay. The last question is, the apartment received is smaller than the one we were promised when we signed the lease. What can we do? Think about it, folks. Would you buy a used car without looking at it or driving uh -huh. it? Well, Absolutely this is the not. same thing. <laughs> this is an apartment. Somebody's been in it before. But uh, it's the same thing. You, you have to look at, at, at what you're getting. So the only hope that they have is if there's something spelled out in their contract. Mm -hmm. There's a contract. I always say, look at the contract. If the contract says two-bedroom, and you only got a one bedroom, then you're going to win. Right. But if it says uh, two bedroom, you got a two bedroom, but the little second bedroom is tiny, tiny, it's not what you expected, uh -huh. and too bad, too sad, you're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are done as well. Thank you so much, Judge, you're for welcome. joining us today. And we'll be right back with a final check of the forecast.